competition has taught me to work with people. It has taught me a lot about myself, my confidence, as well as I came here to learn, and that's what I've been doing. It's been a very long journey. It's been very tough, very emotionally and actually mentally draining. I think the closer I get to the end of this competition, the harder it is. It's great to see DJ Lloyd and Sir Vincent. They're giving us the brief today, so I think this might be a really fun challenge. What's up, guys? Hey. Hi. It's really good to see you guys again, and uh, congrats for making it this far. Um, I know you guys have spent some time at our office, so let me formally introduce you to my business partner. His name is Vincent. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> the last time we worked with the two of them, it did not go as smoothly, so I'm quite curious to know what we're doing today. I know that you guys have heard about Live Better and Bank Better, but Live Better Talks is a platform where like-minded people get together, learn really key things for their careers as well as their lives so that they can live better. We're going to be having one of these events in a few weeks and it's the biggest event that we're throwing this year. And through you guys, we either succeed or we fail. I'm thinking, oh, another event. Another event. I'm scared of events. So today, your task is to move 10 tickets each before 5 p.m. today and 10 more tickets using your own networks before the boardroom. I'm no salesman. I'm just a creative guy who makes copy and some concepts. I'm in the deep end and I need saving. So as part of your challenge, all of you guys are going to get to manage a speaker each. Everyone gets to pick a name. Let's do it. Cool, man. At this point, I don't mind any speaker as long as it's not a person that has a reputation for being difficult to handle. I've never really worked with anyone in entertainment before, so I'm kind of secretly hoping it's not an entertainer. I open my envelope and it says Youngster Cape Town. I have no idea who this person is. <laughs> Youngster Cape Town. Yeah. CPT. Oh, so it's Youngster CPT, not Cape Town. Got it. Ah, it's Noni Gasa, but I know she's in the fashion industry, so I have to research more about it. I get Aisha Pandor, and she's someone I really look up to. Hmm, I have to do some researching. The name looks really familiar, but right now, I don't know who it is. So I picked Jay something from Mikasa. He definitely has a good voice. I just hope he's not a diva. I get AKA. And while I'm super excited, I'm also very nervous because I don't know what it's like to work with. Just when you thought that we're completely done, let's add a few things to this task. We're going to need you guys to secure an influencer that you're going to be inviting to Live Better Talks. As DJ Lloyd actually continues with the brief and he's adding on tasks, this actual challenge is becoming more and more difficult. And for the boardroom, we're going to need you guys to prepare a post for social media and how you would market the Live Better Talks. Just bear in mind, each of you need to come up with that post. Whoa, 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 information overload. 10 tickets to sell today, 10 online, an influencer, a social media post. When is all gonna happen? We only have a couple of days. And in the back of your heads as well, I'd like you to keep in mind that this is an elimination round. All the best, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. The most challenging part of this challenge has to be the walking around v &A begging for 100 Rand for someone to buy my ticket. That's a lot. It's time to sell these tickets, and quite frankly, I don't know how this is gonna go. Guys, come on, let's be serious. So we've had like really hard challenges. How awkward is this challenge? Yeah, yeah. Right. This, this is our awkward. Honestly. This is our awkward. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you literally just got Imagine to Imagine going up, like, okay, you walking, running yeah. your errands in a mall, and then someone's like, hi, yeah, guys. Please, can I just sell you this? I have one of these tickets for you to you. purchase. <laughs> <laughs> it is completely legit. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> if any nice. of you guys actually manage to sell these, I'll have a newfound respect for yeah. you guys. I would like to start with this side. Okay, we're okay. selling it. I'm gonna come with you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sell the stuff. Sell the stuff. Firstly, I'm very awkward. So this situation of me having to sell tickets to strangers is making me more awkward. This is very hard. So our task here today is to essentially sell 10 tickets for the Live Better Talk on the 24th of October. It's an awesome opportunity to network, to meet people, to sort of get that like foot in the door. Getting rejection after rejection after rejection. This is like high school all over again for me. I'm busy in my own sort of vibe, but I do notice that Chase has a lot of people that look like him that's with him buy tickets. So I don't know what's going on there, but that boy is making sales. My strategy is to sell the tickets to my network that I've got into the mall, have other people see me doing this, 
and hopefully that establishes trust. How many tickets do you want? I think I've got some two. I'll take two. Yeah. And my girlfriend will you come. And, yeah, please. You and your girlfriend come. It'll be really cool. You'll grow a lot and you'll get to meet some really cool people. <laughs> will you be there at least? I will be there. <laughs> I think Chase has a good strategy in mind. If I'm honest, I also considered asking most of my friends, but some of them are working, so I just have to work with what I have. So are you guys perhaps interested in buying a ticket? It's only 100 Rand and you still have like two weeks to plan before that. Uh, I'm not around that time, does it uh, Okay, no worries guys. Cool. Thanks so much. Cheers. Okay, bye. Cheers, bye. It's tough. Being rejected is obviously not fun, but I did expect this to happen. It's very frustrating. What's going like on? I literally go out, ask people if they want to buy tickets. First of all, they don't have money. They literally just walk away. And the people that say they are interested said that I must come back tomorrow. Approaching complete strangers is easier said than done because rejection is a thing. No. Would you like to know about it? Uh, uh, no. Would you like to get inspired by AKA J something? No, Whoa, I'm so sad, all right. I can't see anyone else at the moment because they spread out all over the mall. But if they're doing as well as I'm poor, oh my goodness, I'm in for it. Do the money dance, do the money dance, do the money dance. I'm energetic, I'm fun. Me approaching people, it's not much of a challenge. I love it. The rejection isn't really a rejection. It's how you actually make connection with the person. So I'm happy connecting with anyone. Honestly, I love connecting with people. No, it's only 100 bucks. It's only 100 bucks. It's only 100 bucks. You can buy one. Okay, I'll, I'll give you 50 rand. And then you got, no? No. Mpo's strategy or persona when he's on the field or talking to people is actually great. Like he comes alive almost. And he's quite a charmer with the ladies. I sort of tried the same thing with the gentleman, but I have a different result. Like it's a really good space and you're going to probably learn a lot. Yeah, sure, I'm keen, but mm. no, not to buy the ticket at the moment. But yeah. yeah, probably. Okay. At this challenge right now in the VNA, I suck. So essentially, we're just getting, letting people know about it. These tickets, it's 100 Rand for admission fee. Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually making a sale feels great. My first customer is super interested in the initiative and I think she'll be a great addition to the platform. So she says yes? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me go get great. the money and... Awesome. My first sale of a ticket. Very excited. Hopefully this continues and I get to sell more. Yes! Look at you. I think we need to go to a different place. Yeah, we can move towards the time. Money. The other contestants seem to be doing fairly okay, but then again, I think at this stage of the competition, we're all just playing poker with each other. Whatever you sell, I say you have three seconds. If that person is willing to listen to you for three seconds, that's a hook. Go in, my friend. Go in. That is a sale right there. Now it's just the finishing. Go in. Paul might be running all over the place and selling many tickets. But I'm working smart and selling just as many tickets as he is. Amazing. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Oh awesome. my gosh, thank you. thank you. Thank you so much. I look at what's seen you there. See you there. With 30 minutes to go, I've been facing a lot of rejection, but let's regroup and let me try to push for those final few minutes. In the moments before the deadline, the contestants scramble to try secure more sales. But is it all in vain? Time is up and I've sold one more ticket. Well, one is better than nothing. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, bye, see you there. Bye. I am a bit worried that I have four left and I still have 10 left to sell online, but I'm sure if I sit down, I can get a strategy to do this. So how many does everyone have? I have a whole seven. A whole seven? Yeah. Uh, girl. <laughs> yeah, seven. Seven. Life was seven. Hard. seven. Hard. Seven. Yeah. Four. Four. Three. Well done. Okay. Two. Well done. Well awesome. So wait, 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 wait. We, are, yeah, we have to sell 20 in total, so that's a little yeah. Yeah. Ending off the day with only three tickets sold, I need to make it back in the online sales. And that already is going to take so much of my time because I still have to get an influencer as well as create this social media post. I'm not feeling too good about this. Double up on stress, triple up on value, and save with Celsi Ultra Bonus. Celsi, connect your way. The challenges have always been teamwork, so working individually, I can finally work at my own pace 
and in my own style. So I'm feeling very comfortable with what I'm doing right now. The influences I'm currently looking at are lifestyle orientated influences. And top of mind, I have Lela Kosani. And I'm gonna call her up now. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks yourself. You're speaking to Clebo. Hi, Clebo. Good. Hi, right. With this call, I'm really hoping to get Lela on board by telling her more about the high profile speakers that we'll have and how much value she can actually gain from an experience like this. I haven't locked down my influencer yet, but I'm really hoping he can attend because he's a big name and he really is an inspiration in his field. But if he doesn't, every single one of my guests is an influencer in their own right. We are hosting the Live Better Talks and what they are is Capitech hosts this talk with industry titans to share their knowledge of both personal and professional success and you know your song just made the top 20 which is amazing congratulations <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> and i think that you know you could also inspire a lot of people the three influencers i'm looking at is karishma Basde, darusha and angelique fredericks these are three strong and powerful women in whatever it is that they do. I find them to be a great inspiration, therefore, great addition to Live Better Talks. Hi Angelique, just got your message. Thanks so much for confirming. So I will send you an email with everything that you need to know. Contacting an influencer isn't easy, but my approach is to mention the next brand ambassador, mention Capitec Live Better Talks, and the fact that they could be in the same space to network and to grow their brand, seeing that they are a brand that's growing. So that's my approach. Yo, innocent boy, it's Mpo here, Munaring. I saw you guys are in Cape Town. I'd just like to invite you to one of Capitec's Live Better Talks. At this particular moment, I haven't really put a lot of thought into my creative. It's important for me to firstly push these tickets and then secure an influencer. Maybe tomorrow I'll start working on my creative. For my influencer, I really looked at the networks that I've built throughout this competition and the numbers that I had access to. So I'm currently looking at Ryan Buerta. All right, cool, Lacker. On Thursday, I should be at the event, no problem. Um, I'm busy shuffling my clients around now as we speak. It's looking like it's going to be confirmed. I'll probably only get there close to 7.30. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. If it changes, I'll let you know. The judges have arrived. This is a different feeling because usually they're here to brief us, but today they're actually here to judge us on the work we've done so far. So Clevo, 10 tickets on the ground, 10 tickets online. Where are we? On the ground at Waterfront, I managed to sell three, which is not a very good representation of the energy I actually put in, but online I've managed to sell 13, so I've made up for that. So tell me about your influencer. I had a list of options. At first I looked at Simple, Having the judges here is just like the boardroom, except now they're right here. And with another option is Lela Kosani. I spoke to her this morning, she's really keen. And with her, I really like her content because it's driven around like food and lifestyle and also sharing her experiences. So also that ties in really nicely with Live Better. I would actually advise you to think a lot about the panel okay. and match the panel with people who would love to see so the panelists. Panel. But all the best, yeah. man, because I really so want to see you win this week. Because cool. for me, you have been a little bit mute. Cool. And I really hope that this is going to be the challenge that's going to show us what you're about. Thank you All so the much. best. Appreciate it. Well, that's a relief. That went better than I expected. There's definitely a lot more pressure with the judges on one-on-one -on -one because sometimes it's easier to piggyback on people when you literally have nothing to say in that particular moment. But now you're facing the judges. You have to account for everything. You have to explain everything. It kind of has to make sense. So it's a lot. My experience on the ground was very awkward. One, I was in heels, so I was physically mm. not okay for that. I was too overdressed for the activity. So I got tired mm. before I could even do anything. And also it was quite daunting to walk up to people in the v &A and essentially ask them to give you money. It's definitely not easy facing these judges in the boardroom, in a casual setting, anywhere really, because you know that they are listening to you attentively. They are watching you, they're staring you down. They're literally judging every single thing that comes out of your mouth and how you are actually saying what you say. I left the VNA with only three sales of tickets, but after that it was skyrocketed. Like I'm sitting on 16 right now, digitally. Okay, and that's because of what? Poor planning? It could be poor planning. Mm. So at this stage of the competition, planning mm. is key. Mm. And we can't make excuses, right? Yeah. To be very fair. So please, Zanika, 
please get out of your shell, get out there. I was pretty sure about my strategy, but after that talk with the judges, I think I have to go back to the drawing board. I am loving the fact that the judges are talking to us individually in our own space because now I feel like they're going to get a feeling of how we work as individuals. I sold about seven. Seven tickets out of uh, ten? Out of ten. That's very good, Chase. I, I didn't think I was going to sell that many, but I think my approach worked. It worked, right? <laughs> yeah. The judges' game face is always strong. You never quite know what they're thinking. My primary influence that I'm looking to bring is a friend of mine who really has inspired me, and that's Rich Minisi. Oh, okay, he's, good, yeah, yeah. He's really incredible. You know, his schedule is ever-evolving, so I'm just waiting on confirmation, but he is looking to be my first option. Sure, Chase, it'll be amazing to have Rich Minisi join us. All the best with that, okay? Thank you so have much. Have fun, enjoy, later. Thank you. Yes! Yes, Bye-bye. <laughs> you never really know because now we've been judged on day two. I think everything is fine. Did you manage to sell all your tickets? I managed to sell all the ground tickets. I sold 10, no, eight at the mall, and only two later. And the digital ones, I've sold, I've managed to sell five. I'm remaining five to do. Yeah. Hmm. That will be sold by end of, hopefully today still. Aren't you the digital guru? For some reason, you'll have all the answers. The moment the judges ask one question, everything just trumbles, everything just falls. Because now your mind is blank. And other than your confirmed influencer, yeah. is your contingency plan the two that haven't confirmed yet? Those, that is my contingency plan. So that's your plan B? That is my plan B. I'm going to remind you yes. that you have resources around you. True. And when we talk influencers, well, I'm not going to say anymore. I think I've ticked all my boxes, and from their expressions, I think they're happy, I think. I believe this is an opportunity for us to have a conversation about what it is that I'm doing. I'm confident with what I put together because I believe in it, so that won't be a problem for me. I tried my best and I managed to sell um, six tickets. Oh wow, six. Yeah. Okay, you didn't fare too badly. No, I didn't fare too badly. Okay, that's quite interesting. And then from a digital perspective, you also had to sell 10 tickets. Yeah. And how did that go? So I subcategorized all the speakers okay. and basically looked at their target market. Mm. So for example, with AKA, I went into all the entertainment chat groups, websites, Facebook groups that I know his people will be at. Mm. And I sort of said, hey, there's this event with AKA, he's going to be on the couch talking about these things. And how was the response then? Very positive. Okay. People were super keen, very engaged. They wanted to see him. They wanted to know where is he going to be? How can I see him talk? What is he talking about? So you managed to sell all 10? Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, so now regarding your influencers or an influencer, did you have any? Did you manage to get anyone? Yes, I did. And okay. I'm very excited about Let's them. See. So these are my influences. Okay. Karishma Baste, Angelique Fredericks, and Darusha Naido. Okay. These three females are very inspirational, very powerful, and completely different. That went amazing. They were nodding, they were smiling. I really think I'm doing the most. I'm a bit apprehensive of having the judges in my space. Usually they're never at the house, so this is very different. I managed to sell three tickets, but when I came home after that, I reached out to my networks and I've sold 18 tickets. So I only have two left to also still sell. So quite happy about that. If you looked at the task, it was half of the tickets face to face at the yeah. VNA and the other half digital. Mm -hmm. And I am a little disappointed that nobody's gone and exceeded the targets in this stage of the competition, just meeting the criteria is not going to get you the top three. That could have gone better. I don't really know if I am on the right track at the moment. Everyone is being so secretive, especially Chase. He's being so secretive. He's like MIA and closing his laptop when you walk past, it's intense. What do most banks know about simplicity? About what it means to live better? Do you really need all those accounts that cost you more just because you earn more? And the hoops you have to jump through for the free rewards that you hardly ever use? Aren't you just tired of it? What if I told you there's a simpler way? A bank that takes all the complexity of banking and turns it on its head. 
Capitec is doing just that. Using technology to cut the cost of banking and put the value back in your pocket with live better benefits that you can get immediately, making you feel valued when you need it most. Here's a bank that invests in innovative solutions to simplify your life so that you can live better. Simplify banking. Live better. Day three, we're going to meet up with DJ Lloyd and his team, and we're going to liaise with whoever that he gives us, just to get some questions in about the artist and what we can expect about the event. My approach with working with anyone I haven't met before is just to respect their space and also find out where I can help and just be myself. How's it, guys? Hi. Welcome to Blank Canvas. It's really good to have you here, guys. Um, and I think you're going to enjoy the next few weeks because you're going to be working with a group of really cool and dynamic people. So to my left is Apelele. Um, she's one of the project leads for Live Better Talks. And then also on the other side um, is Nadine, who's also one of the project leads. So you guys are going to be working as a cohesive group in making magic. So if something goes wrong, and if the guys don't get the help they need, trust me, I will hear about it. Ask them as many questions as possible. If you're not sure about something, rather ask. There are no stupid questions. And most importantly, like I always say, have fun. During the first meet, it's important that I get all of the questions that form the foundation of how I'm going to move forward with this event. So for the Liberty Talks, we've already got three speakers booked and confirmed. So I'm going to need you guys' help to make sure that the event is a success. So when it comes to the logistics of actually getting them to the venue and making sure that all their needs are met, I'm going to be relying heavily on you guys. Because I have someone as high profile as AKA, I don't want to make mistakes. So I'm trying to get an understanding of what it is to manage talent. This is a big deal, and if I mess it up, I can pack my bags. Just in general, do you have tips for managing talent? <laughs> Any tips? You're gonna play it by ear. You're gonna have to gauge it and use your own natural understanding of people and people's skills to actually play this one through. Okay, cool, thank you. We have a social media manager that will be on the night. He'll also give you guys a briefing on how you guys need to post and what kind of post you need to look out for and all those things right on social media. Also, I just wanted to ask, when do we get to interact with our artists? I'll give you all contact details so you guys can be in communication with them. Please keep it professional, get straight to the point, don't be a groupie. Okay. Okay. When calling Noni Casa, I really hope that I can get a feel of how I can help my speaker before the event, during the event and possibly even after the event. I'd want you to get in touch with Jenna, my agent. All right. Um, also, please do send me some notes on the topic. Okay, cool. Um, also, um, once you do book a makeup artist, please let them know that I'm allergic to SPF. Okay, so cool. So no sunscreen in any of the products. Nori really speaks fast, so I'm out here trying to listen and at the same time write what she's saying because she's very specific about what she wants and I don't want to get this wrong. I definitely prefer a Madonna mic, not a handheld. A Madonna mic? Okay, she says she doesn't want a handheld mic, so I'm guessing a Madonna mic is that one that goes... Like here? So Jay something is very, very busy. His manager says I only have like 20 seconds with him. I better make these 20 seconds count. I'm so excited to be making this call today. I just wanted to find out, can I, can I confirm your attendance to the Live Better Talks event on the 24th of October? Yes, definitely, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be sending you an email just to brief you what's going on in the night and the routine or the rollout, and then you can just let me know if you need anything, or you could ask me now if you have any questions. No, go, cool, man. It's, uh... If I have any questions, I'll let you know. But just send me the email so that I know what's happening. That call was so quick, but I do believe it was positive and I established some sort of relationship there. I do believe that I have quite a difficult task to deal with with my guest speaker. I mean, AKA is so huge that he's not even in the country at the moment. So there's a lot depending on this. Hi. What's the deal? <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to formally introduce myself. Uh, so my name is Portia. I'm one of the Next Brand Ambassador contestants and I'm going to be looking yeah. after you for Next the Capitec Live Better Talks event. Okay, and how's it going so far? It's, it's going good. Um, I'm very happy to be speaking to you so we can just clear up some minor details. 
My approach in dealing with AKA is to be as professional as I can be, but also to be friendly. I want him to think that I'm in control and that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so basically my whole thing is run by a guy called Tiamo. Okay. Be able to plug you in with all the logistics regarding the, the rider, tech rider, mm. hospitality rider, all of that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little bit more detail about what the Live Better Talks is all about. Can I continue? Yeah. So it's basically a platform that brings a whole lot of experts from the industry together to just give some insights of what they've learned um, and really just give some, you know, insightful tips to people. Insightful tips to people to just um, share and build their brands and all of that type of things. Okay, well, yeah. Mm. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to know in terms of people that you would want to join um, with you on that night, how many are you thinking of? I'll be there with my road manager mm. uh, and my photographer. Okay, then I will just be in contact with your team and we'll take it from there. Yes, good luck. Okay, cool. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye. From the phone call with Youngster CPT, I just want to firstly introduce myself, get him acquainted with me, and I just want to confirm who he's coming with. If he has a rider, I can start prepping that. Nice to meet you. I actually thought this is rather imperative that we meet so that it's not like a blind date on the night. Yeah, um, I just wanted to confirm a few things with you, man. For sure, for sure. No okay, problem. I know that you're based in Cape Town, so I don't know if you'll be traveling that week, if I need to do any accommodation or flight details for you. I think Youngster and I are vibing pretty well. I mean, he's smiling. He seems like a really cool guy, but I'm collapsing. I don't know what's happening. Is there anything specific that I need to know? Because I was pretty, uh, I'm the personal post, ah, why can't I speak? It's so weird. I think I might be starstruck or just a little nervous. I mean, I've never really spoken to a real life artist before, but I think we're still good. Is there anything that you need to know about me at this point? Uh, are we good? You've ticked all the boxes, man. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to meeting you in person. Okay, cool. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Going to the boardroom tomorrow, I'm super confident. If I can get together my creative, the way that I'm thinking about it, with my four influencers and the fact that I've been sold out of my tickets, I'm fire. Simplify banking. Live better with Capitec. I'm very nervous. I don't know what anyone else has done and I'm hoping mine is going to match up. It's very strange. Normally there's a group dynamic and now it's all about you. You either make it or you break it. There's always pressure in the boardroom, but since it's top six, there's just a bit more pressure now. I took a peek at other people's and I think that maybe mine could be the one that's underwhelming, so I'm hopeful, but I have some concerns. Top six, congratulations for getting this far. Being in the top six is exciting, but the expectation is even more daunting because obviously we are close and we want to make sure that the final three are the best of the best. I'm a bit worried. Two minutes is really not a lot of time and I'm just really hoping that my presentation fits within the time. Chase, let's start with you. Thank you, judges. So when I looked at creating the post, I thought about it in two ways. How do I support the brand of Live Better Talks? And also, I looked at my engagement on my own social. Time is running out quickly and I haven't even gotten to my influencer. And for my next slide, um, this was an Insta story because I found that I had 18% engagement. You have 15 seconds left. Cool. With this post, we will have the speakers in the copy at the bottom so they know exactly who will be speaking if Your they time is recognize up. them. What? That was two minutes? I'm very concerned about how quickly that clock went. I just wanted to ask Chase quickly, just in terms of colour scheme. Um, with well, the Live Better Talks, sure. they've rebranded and yes. their colour scheme is this purple okay. that you see. But don't you think maybe you could have added something Capitec like? Mm. Agreed. You know? in, in hindsight, looking at it, I think moving forward, I would have maybe 
brought something that's a little bit more authentically mm -hmm. Capitec. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next. So my approach for this week in promoting the event was firstly forming a Cape Town database. So I formed a strategy called a friend of a friend strategy. In my head, there's literally two things. One, a stopwatch, and two, my actual pitch. So there's a lot going on. My influencer that I chose, this person is a se senior brand manager of an, a popular whiskey band in South Africa, and he's categorized as a nano influencer. And he aligns perfectly with the selected target market of the Live Better Talks. Judges? I like the clarity, mm, I like the simplicity, I like the focus, yeah. I like the nano influencer, I like that it is someone that is relatable, someone that talks to the essence and I think for this I got the gist of what the Live Better Talks are about. I was just about to say the same thing Gabo, um, it's great to see uh, an improvement and that you took notes uh, when you were talking about your influencer as well. Moving along. Judges, the three influencers that I looked at was Karishma Baste, Angelique Fredericks, and Darusha Naidu. These three ladies are very inspirational, influential in their own light. The strongest element in my pitch is definitely the strategy. However, I'm not really sure if everything else is landing. I missed the benefit to people to attract them to the event, yes, the general public. And I certainly don't see the benefit to a Capitec customer. I could definitely put a lot more work into that. Mosaic man. Thank you, Sheridan. Portia, over to you. So for my social media post, I really looked at the tonality of the Live Better Talks page on Instagram, and I took inspiration from that. For example, I wrote um, one for the speakers and one for the event. Don't miss out on an amazing opportunity and platform created by Capitec Bank. Well, congratulations on keeping time. Mm. I think it's fresh um, and it's simple and that's mm. what I like about it. It's very capitecky. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Pasha. And Paul, you're next. So with my artwork, I designed it accordingly to what they have on their cur currently on the Live Better social medias. My two influencers would be Yanga Yaya as well as Sichaba and Neva. They are both media icons, they're both content driven, and these are the people that I see in the future could potentially speak at the next guest, uh, the, the next, the Capitec Live Better talks. Thank you. Definitely in a tailspin here. I haven't gotten half of my presentation in, and I can't speak. I like what you've done with your influencers, and they're on the rise, so they're great target markets. And I think for me, I would have definitely expected that your creative design would be a lot more popping. Oh, thank you. Post. I was yeah. about to I say just that we are on the same first one. Well yeah. Yeah. For a designer. Thanks, and Paul. Sanika, you're next. Thank you, judges. These are the influencers that I managed to get. They're each very diverse. They each bring something very different. Um, what I like also is that two of them have been to a Capitec event before. They know about Capitec, um, so it's a familiar brand for them. It's definitely difficult to speak to the judges because it's not only just the nerves, but you're also just intimidated by them. You've done a lot of research. You've done a great job. I actually think you've done the best job in terms of influencers. It's definitely giving me some confidence, so well done, girl. I don't understand from all of your presentations, what are the Live Better Talks about? I think Capitec is a bank that really empowers people mm. to live better. Mm -hmm. So I think the bank really comes into the forefront by saying, we are giving you these people, we are making an event for these people, and we are here to give you tips and insights on how you can make your brand better or how you can be more successful. Why didn't you add that in your presentation? Because that would be so key in selling tickets, in promoting the event, but instead you all kind of lean towards the influencers and the speakers, and you seem to have lost the most important part of this, that there is a brand, right, that's bringing this event to the people. All of you have missed that in your presentations. And I must say, top six, there is a, a clarity that I did appreciate about each and every one of you in terms of what you wanted to get out of this particular project. Um, and as they say, strategy is choice. Because at this level of the competition, it's not so much about what is right or what is wrong. It's about the choices that you are going to make as an ambassador and whether you are able to keep those choices or back up those choices. So well done and congratulations. Mm. Us judges are gonna sit back a little bit and just have a conversation and we'll call you back a little bit later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's tough. 
everyone had positives and everyone had negatives. It's going to be a very close call. Sure, it's going to be hard to eliminate someone. Not for me. Really? Simplify banking. Live better with Capitec. Stepping back into the boardroom, I'm scrutinizing myself. Did I say enough? Did I do enough? Did I push my work hard enough? I feel I did my best this week. And I really feel like whatever happens, happens. Welcome back to the boardroom contestants. Not one of you brought an integrated learning into your presentations. Ask yourselves, did you truly use everything that you've been taught along this journey and bring it to this week's task. Everyone is just thinking, nerves are going up and down. I'm sweating. It's really tense at the moment. A few questions, starting with you, Zanika. When selling tickets at the mall, you admitted that you were somewhat tired. Take us through that process. Why were you that way? It was daunting and it was awkward. Clearly, since you only sold three tickets. It wasn't a case of me not approaching people. It was a case of there's rejection, I don't have any branding on, there's no credibility of what I'm doing. Ah, yeah. you see, you chose not to be branded and then use the fact that you were not branded as the excuse for not selling the tickets. Odette's feedback is definitely right and it's relevant. It's almost like we children just, just don't want to listen or learn. The attitude of how we approach the challenge is critical mm. for a brand ambassador. And that brings me to you, Portia. How did you feel about the challenge? I really do believe that I tried my best to sell those tickets. I honestly walked all over the place trying to ask people to I'd buy like tickets to from me. I'd like to differ, and I'll tell you why. I wasn't there. Okay. It was when you were calling AKA. Mm. I was very disappointed. You were not in any way meeting him halfway, putting the effort, Nothing, nothing convincing at all. In fact, I am shocked that he agreed. I knew the judges were gonna come for me in terms of my conversation with AKA, but you know what, it happened. I can't do anything about it now. All I can do is move forward. Sheridan, I am in awe of one of the speakers that you had to call. Your conversation with him was less than inspiring. And the same could be said with you, Zanika. You have one opportunity to speak to people you don't ordinarily get to speak to. Imagine that, and you come across as flat. I completely agree with Odette. I mean, we've repeated the same mistakes. I actually want to go to Chase. You didn't get to actually deliver a full presentation, but you just go direct to production aspects. Do you think you did a good job today? I think I focused too much on the post itself and what was inside the post and the messaging as opposed to getting to the point of who I'm bringing to the event, why I'm bringing those people. And I have to ask, is Chase more than production? I am. It's justified. Everything that they're saying is justified because I didn't convey what I needed to in the presentation in the time frame that I had. Emma, I'm glad there's an improvement, especially regarding your influences but I think you chose people you'd be attracted to rather than people who are suited for the Live Better talks. Certainly, I have to agree. <laughs> you cannot make such mistakes. Yes, ma'am. The feedback from the judges is valid. It's not so bad. I can take that. And Paul, I think for you it's about being clear about what the outcome is because you're confusing the role of the influencer in the event. You do need to think about that before you start shooting. Maybe because we get too into our tasks at the moment, and we miss the vital parts. Definitely, I definitely agree. Contestants, this challenge was very important to remind us that sometimes we will be asked to go to places we've never been before. And that's the essence of the kind of brand ambassador we want to see. But it was also a challenge that will show us who we need to take to the top five. The judges have made their decision. Now it's getting real. Please, please pick me. Coming to the top five are the following. Sharadell. Chase. Posha. 
Sebo. Welcome to the top five. Ah, what a sigh of relief. Mpo and Zanika, you are the bottom two. I'm not in the top four, it's disappointing, but I understand from the feedback why I am in the hot seat. Mpo. Ma'am. Today, your presentation was by far the worst of your outputs. I truly expected more from you. Zanik, it almost feels like we've been pulling you through. Challenge after challenge after challenge. I've been here before. I know this feeling all too well. I know this kind of mood. I've been here. It's coming. Top four. Who do you believe from Zanika and Paul should be the one to join you? Chase. If I had to choose one person, it would be Himpo, but with the exception that he needs to learn how to listen what other people are saying. And if he can really do that, I think he would be great. Do you think that he could do that after all these weeks of the same feedback and not rising above that? Portia? I don't know. Ma'am. From the beginning, I feel like Zanika always had the willingness to listen and to learn. And perhaps this wasn't her strongest week, but I do believe that she has the attributes to be the next brand ambassador. Trevo. I would like to see Mpo join me in the final. Mpo, with each challenge that we start, the energy is always, how can I kill this challenge? For me, that tenacity, that drive, I take him for that. Shida. More than anything else, I know that Mpo has his faults. Well, so do I. But if there's one thing I cannot take away from Mpo, is his presence, his hunger, his drive, and I feel that we could make a difference. Mm. So, Mpo, you have 30 seconds to convince the judges why you and not Zanika should be in the top five. Ma'am, I feel from day one I've learned a lot, especially when Nandi has been stressing about uh, personality. Throughout my challenge, right after that, it's been just personality. Even how I approach people, everything of mine not only has been just about work, but I've, I've brought my colorfulness in my work. Zanika, your 30 seconds starts now. Why should you join the top four? I am authentically myself all the time. I am brutally honest. Week in, week out, I've learned a lot and I've tried to push myself out of my comfort zone. I am hungry for this. I don't understand how that's not translating because I really do need the opportunity as well. And uh, I'm actually not ready to fight anymore. I don't think I have it in me to fight. The judges have made a decision. And the five people who stand a chance to be one of the next brand ambassadors includes Mpo. That was really a close one. So now the next challenge, I need to bring it because I need to show people what I'm made of. Sanika, it's been an incredible ride. You have shown the whole country what it takes to stay focused and to fight. But what do you think you're gonna be walking away with from this competition? I'm gonna be working away with a lot. I've learned a lot about myself working in a team, the industry. I've learned a lot even about Gappy Tech, what it takes to be a brand. Sorry. I've literally learned a lot. And you have grown. And we are very proud of you. I'm really disappointed because I came really, really close. I was the bottom for four weeks in a row and I made top six. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Unfortunately, the road ends here. But continue learning, continue growing. You will blossom. I'm gonna really miss Anika. She was an awesome energy and a great addition to the house. She brought a different vibe that was cool. I've seen a spirit, but I know we will meet at the top. And to the top five, we are going to be even harder on you. Push yourself even further. Thank you. You're dismissed. People are definitely going to bring the A game, but I'm going to bring it even harder. Don't underestimate me. Just don't. Right now, I've got a rocky soundtrack playing in my head. I will move everything that comes my way. From the show, I have grown personally. There's a lot of things and 
strength in me that I didn't even know existed. So to come so close and then for it just to not happen, I think maybe it just wasn't my time and I'm okay with that. Next time, after weeks of grueling challenges and intense boardroom deliberations, it all comes down to this, the grand finale. Only three of the top five will win the opportunity of a lifetime when they are declared the winners of the next brand ambassador. You do not want to miss this. Another feel-good production.